Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a taste test and kind of a review and unboxing of the San Francisco Bay Coffee K-Cups. Now these are not like normal K-Cups and these cost almost a dollar a piece. So they're pretty expensive, but there's, I'll show you why. So the box comes, which is unusual, I've never seen a box come in a, this is a compost, com, compostable bag. Interesting, it's got a used, used before date, which is really nice. It says it's not suitable for backyard composting. Compostable in industrial facilities. So that's a little, I wouldn't say misleading, but that's just, they, they did put that on there to let you know. You can't just throw this in your backyard and, and compost it. So let's open it up and see what we got. Okay, so as soon as you open it up, you can start smelling the coffee. Now these, like I said, this is different than a standard K-cup. So here's what a standard K-cup looks like. It's all plastic. It's got a foil top. This one's got like the filter material. The coffee's in there. There's a plastic. This is a hard plastic ring. And I'm not sure if that top is foil or what, but it's definitely a little bit different. It's definitely a lot different than a K-cup. Now it says it's compatible with most K-cup style single serve brewers. So it says it's certified commercially compostable. So the box doesn't go into great detail about I think most people are probably going to buy this for the compostability of it. It doesn't go into great detail about that. Kind of talks about who they are. It just says it's commercially compostable one cup, which breaks down to help convert. And I thought there would have been a little more. I thought they would have talked about the cake up a little bit more and how it's it's better for the environment but they don't tell you much about it so the bag doesn't have many directions on it either do you put your cake cups in the bag and then put it in the landfill i'm not sure i think so th this is this seems like a really good idea i think they should have uh, talked about it more or do you just do something different with the cake cups than you do with the bag i'm not sure and again, I've, I've read all through this. Very little information on this. Definitely would have expected. Huh. So here on the left, I cut open a traditional K-cup. I cut the bottom off. Your two tablespoons of coffee is kept in a, in a paper filter. And again, the bottom has got plastic and it, the needle pierces the plastic. And you've got this foil for the top. And there's your coffee grounds. That's two tablespoons of coffee. Let's cut open this one. Let's see how much coffee is in here. Yeah, so they get they get two tablespoons of coffee. I was I was expecting there not to be two tablespoons of coffee in there. Okay, so their coffee grounds. You know, it's a, it looks like a nice, even grind. Very good quality coffee grounds. So this is a little bit of foil to it. But it's definitely different than like a normal K-cup. And then the capsule. Again, I'm not sure. Do you take this off? This is like a filter material. Looks like it tears really easy. Again, this, that's a very hard plastic ring right there. So, I'm not sure about that plastic ring. Okay, so here I've got the K-Express. This is the K-Supreme. The K-Supreme has got the five needles on the top. This is like a standard Keurig. Just got the single needle on top. They both have one needle on the bottom. So, let's put our K-Cup in and see how it does. So, they both look like they fit really well. Let's close the needle and close the needle. So I am going to brew both of these on the 8-ounce setting. 
since they both since they do have two tablespoons of coffee in them. they're doing pretty good I don't see water coming out around the machine or anything I've got detailed reviews on both of these Keurig machines today I'm just kind of showing you this the San Francisco Bay K cup Both of these are really hot cups of coffee. Yeah, it's pretty hot to drink right now. Okay, so I've let them cool off just a little bit. They smell really good. This this smells like really good coffee. It's a French roast. I'm not um, French roast is not my favorite coffee, but I've done a taste test. These taste like good French roasts. They're not not super super dark. I've tasted some French roasts that are just extremely dark coffee it has a really different flavor but this has a kind of a smooth but it's definitely a dark french roast coffee i'm not a coffee expert by no means i'm just trying to give a simple uh, explanation of these and this has more to do with um, how the k-cup brews since these are so different so let's see how they did so that one looks like it did good so that one did good and again, I've never tried these in these machines. This being a little different technology with the five needles, this is kind of their standard. I do see some posts online that these K-Cups don't work in every Keurig machine. But they do work in the new K-Express and the K-Supreme. So here's, here's where they get away with it. So the needle never punctures the bottom. That's how they do it. Same with over here. The needle never punctures the bottom. So let's cut open the brood. So you went from a really loose, see how this is all kind of loose? Now this is kind of hard and formed. That, that's a very good job how they do that. That's very hard and formed. So let's cut them open and see how they did. Okay, this was the single needle one. Boy, it looks like it does a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. Very impressed. Okay, here's the five needle one. Very impressed. That filter really it didn't get any coffee grounds out of the. Yeah, very, very impressive. Those so these work really good in these machines. Unfortunately, when they don't work, and I and I haven't experienced that yet, but I do I have seen pictures online. When they don't work, it makes a big mess. And if you've ever had to clean a Keurig, when you get coffee grounds, kind of when they explode and you get them all around, it takes a long time to clean. And I think that's what frustrates people is when they don't work, you're left with a coffee ground mess, which can be really hard to clean. I think I'll do a video on how to clean when a coffee cake up explodes because it is kind of tricky. You can't take Keurigs, you can't take apart. So they're kind of tricky. So one thing I want to check, I always like to check how good did that filter work. Let's see if I see any coffee grounds. Okay, so you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee. Now, again, I don't know if sediment's good or bad for you. There's a lot of debate out there that sediment adds extra flavor to the coffee. I tend to agree with that. But it, this is what you will see in the bottom of your cup. It is, it just, it's different. Um, so that's why I want to show you that. And when you do a normal cake up so here's like a normal cake up your coffee grounds are in a paper filter paper filters prevent sediment so that's why when you do a normal cake up you don't ever see sediment but you will see it with these cake cups again i do think it adds a little flavor to it so my takeaway is it, they do have good quality coffee grounds it's a good tasting coffee they are a little expensive for a cake cup but you you are left with some environmental um, impacts that are good. I wish they explained things a little bit more about everything. 
it worked in these Keurig machines, but when they don't work, it is frustrating. I can see that. And I can see where these, with these being so different than a normal K-cup, you know, this is the tried and true. And even these K-cups sometimes explode in machines, and they're perfectly normal K-cups. So I can see when they don't go right, people do get frustrated. But for me, they worked. Now, you don't get coffee grounds. I, I was glad to see you don't get any coffee grounds, but you do get a little bit of sediment in your coffee, which, again, some of the best tasting coffee I've had is when there is sediment in it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to put a link where you can buy these off of Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate now. So if you click on the link in my description, it does help defer some of the cost when I buy these and do reviews on them. I really enjoyed this review. I had a lot of comments, people asking me to do this review. I think just because the K-Cups are so different. And, but again, you're really the price, you know, almost a buck. K-Cup is 50 cents normally, typically, and uh, a reusable K-Cup. You, you can get down to about 20, 15, 20 cents per serving. So kind of a stark difference between, but it, did work for me. Check out my reviews. I've got detailed reviews on both of these machines, and I've got a detailed review on every current model Keurig machine they make. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.